Oh yeah. Made it to New Zealand. Got the food. Got the rig. Gonna be living out of this thing for the next week. And we got bacon. Let's go. Eh, eh, words that I say. Downtown the lights out, but we choose to stay. I don't know where this may go. These strangers know all the words at my shows. I tell she loving our style. Shit makes a face red whenever I smile. I lay down, takes off her clothes. Wake up, I leave for the door. Tell myself I don't need a drink. Yeah, it was. All right, ready? Yeah. You ready? Yep. <laughs> the next morning, we set off for Mount Cook. Trying to get up there. We get a sunset time lapse up this very steep hill. We're gonna do it. Formulae, plus digital, touch screen, punchline, test friend, test cat, test friend, test nighttime. After spending a couple cold nights in the mountains, the next day we decided to drive down south to the warmth. Sadly, this would be the last part of our trip.
you guys enjoyed that video. It was an amazing trip, quick trip, but definitely well worth it. New Zealand's been on my bucket list for as long as I can remember. So I'm glad I got it done. And I've just been traveling for two days to get back here. And it's been a process. It's been hectic. It was supposed to be a direct flight from New Zealand to Chicago, which is like 14 hours, and then I drive home. But instead, it was like three or four flights, and it was like 40 hours or something. And Jared's still in the process to get home to North Carolina. It's going to end up being like three days for him, which was which is insane. And I'm glad we got out when we did because there was a good chance we would I got stuck in New Zealand because everything is just closing down, airports are shutting down, countries are on lockdown, and it was scary. I mean, it wouldn't have been a bad thing to get stuck in New Zealand. There's definitely worse places, but we didn't have a lot of money no food, no place to stay, no plans, so it would have been an experience for sure. I mean, we would have survived, but either way, I'm glad to be home with all this going on because nobody really knows what's going to happen with the coronavirus, if it's going to keep progressing like it has or if it's going to simmer down, but I guess we'll see. Last thing of this video, I wanted to go to Milford Sound. That was the main reason I wanted to go to New Zealand. But sadly, the road was closed due to mudslides and we didn't get a chance to go see it and explore it. The last day it did open. We actually did drive in there a little bit, but we didn't have any time because it was our last day and we were flying out the next morning. But next time I go to New Zealand, I'm definitely hitting up Milford Sound, spending a good amount of time there because I've heard from people it's just amazing and you can spend like three days, four days there. There's just so much to see. But yeah, this is all, all for this video. Stay safe out there guys. Hopefully I'll see you again soon with another travel diary. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and I'll see you next time.